and it's a popularity contest in a lot of ways, right? Who, do, who does the jury like more? Who does the jury think is more credible? This is Camille Vasquez admitting during her podcast interview with John Quinn that the Virginia trial was more of a popularity contest between her client Johnny Depp and actress Amber Heard. 20.4 billion, that's how many views the Justice for Johnny Depp tag amassed on TikTok. The Justice for Amber Heard tag had just 88.6 million. Depp later joined TikTok and quickly amassed 11.4 million followers. The battling ex-couple spent six weeks in court with a camera live feed streaming free to the internet from the proceedings in Virginia, and millions tuned in. Some people watched because it was entertaining, others cheered on their preferred side. Before the trial's conclusion, Saturday Night Live lampooned the case as a spectacle being put on for fun. In reaction, critics said they were disgusted by how callously audiences treated the case. So how did the hearing affect the popularity of both Hollywood stars? Let's find out. Camille Vasquez discussed the tactical approach they used to win the defamation case Johnny Depp had filed against his ex-wife Amber Heard. She also told podcaster and law expert John Quinn that in the end, the case turned out to be a popularity contest, with the conflicting sides fighting to impress the jurors. Search for Depp or Amber on YouTube or TikTok, and most of what you'll find are short clips from the trial with tabloid-worthy headlines, like Johnny Depp destroys Amber Heard's lawyer, or one that was drawn from a now-famous quote from Amber's testimony, I did not punch you, I was hitting you, both garnering millions of views. The people who run these accounts say they uploaded the clips, which run to several minutes in length to draw attention to a detail they believed was important that might otherwise get overlooked. One thing the experts all agreed on was that a large part of the public interest in the case stemmed from the way in which it offered a glimpse inside Hollywood and how its biggest stars actually live. Not only were both the plaintiff and the defendant famous, but so were some of the witnesses called to testify, such as Ellen Barkin and Kate Moss. There were also plenty of famous name drops throughout the trial, including multiple references to Elon Musk, Amber's ex-boyfriend, and James Franco, one of Amber's co-stars who Depp accused his ex-wife of cheating on him with. Celebrity breakups and divorces are always of particular interest to the general public. However, what started off as just a regular celebrity trial in the case of Depp and Amber soon became the hottest topic on social media, with hashtags, memes, and TikTok trends dominating almost every user's feed. Camille explained during the podcast session that as a team, their client in this case, Johnny Depp, had to appear more likable before the jury and the public. For people living under a rock, Depp and Amber dated for a while before they tied the knot in 2015, only to end their marriage in 2017. Following the divorce, Amber wrote an op-ed in 2018 for the Washington Post, making claims about domestic abuse and how institutions shield assaulters from justice. Depp has been one of the biggest stars of Hollywood and played important roles in massive films. With roles such as Captain Jack Sparrow and Willy Wonka under his name, he is a huge favorite among kids and their parents. His frequent visits to kids' hospitals in full costume have also been commendable. Another important fact is that most of his films are watched by the Gen Z as they grow up, which only adds to his popularity. On the contrary, right from day one of the trial, there was constant hate for Amber, while stories of her pooping on Depp's bed after a blowout fight between the couple on April 21, 2016, did nothing much to help her situation. Almost no celebrity came in support of her. This drove the people and the jury to question her credibility. Also, the fact that she fired her PR team before for her testimony was a major reason for people not to believe her. So it's fair to say that Depp won the popularity contest convincingly. Remember, this information is based on theories and opinions and therefore shouldn't be considered facts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!